the cost of a penny is not one cent. Economists say every year every American loses $3.65 in wasted counting change. It means $1 billion for the entire country. Some say the government is being penny-wise pound foolish. And I have like a jar in my room that I put all the pennies in. Um, and then they've been saving up for probably a few years. Like I noticed the other day a penny fell on the floor and didn't bother picking it up. Pennies in America are hardly heavenly. Everyone seems to have two cents about whether to stamp it out and pluck the nickel. Jeff Gore is a physicist from MIT who says keeping the penny defies logic. Last year it cost 2.4 cents to make every single penny. All right, so there are a lot of better ways to be using the government's money than to be minting a, a worthless coin. This year it costs more money than ever to produce the coin because of the rising cost of metals. The price is useless, so maybe people are are, are diluting themselves that four ninety nine is cheaper than five dollars, but it's really the same thing. And in the meantime, we have to make tons and tons of pennies every year. Some economists argue that the penny increases sales by narrowing the price gap between buyers and sellers. But others say the gap is insignificant. It's a big horrible waste of time. Although the penny does not facilitate cash transactions, it does slow down those transactions. Gore says Americans end up losing sales by counting pennies, but retailers are not so sure. It might actually negatively impact our business. For example, we have a salad that's $6.99, so if we raise it to $7, people might think that's too expensive for a salad. Economists say the 99 cent marketing trick is a gimmick. I don't think it will cause inflation. Um, I think the, the, the 99 cent pricing model that many merchants use is really a marketing strategy. So I think it's more of a marketing and psychological issue than uh, anything that would cause more inflation. Canada has just announced it will eliminate its $1 loony coin by the end of this year. But instead of pushing to eliminate the penny, the Obama administration has given the Treasury more authority to use cheaper metals to cut production costs. The U.S. government said last year taxpayers lost $60 million on the production and distribution of pennies. I'm Yi Ping Yang, Boston China.